Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a quick overview of my Ryobi electric bike. It was built primarily with stuff I already had. So up in front, we got a 26 six inch wheel with a hub motor. Um, that's something that a friend gave me a few years back. I had that and a motor controller uh, sitting in my garage for a couple years, figured it's time to do something with it. I did need to true up the rim. It was a little wobbly. So I got myself one of these little uh, spoke wrenches and adjusted the wrenches until uh, it was a lot better, a lot less wobble than what it had. I went through and adjusted the brakes. And then down on the axle for the hub motor, um, I added a torque arm. This is a Grin Technologies torque arm version two. And what it does is it just goes to the little eyelet connector uh, for a fender. And what's nice is it, it's stainless steel. It's a nice thick piece. Um, but it just goes to right here instead of a long arm with like ugly stainless pipe clamps around it, that sort of thing. Uh, then I 3D printed a couple of parts. I 3D printed this mount for the 40 volt battery. And then that goes to the water bottle holder. You can see the one screw right here. The other one is hidden under here along with the connectors that go down to a XT60 connector right here. And these little doohickeys are the right size to connect into the bottom of a Ryobi 40 volt battery. So it just slides on there. And then of course it locks in place. So you have to press the release to be able to pull it off. And then for the motor controller, um, I 3D printed a mount for it, kind of a curved sort of a thing to make it look cool with fingers so that the motor controller just slides into it. This also mounts onto a water bottle mount screw on the bottom. Doesn't line up right on the top, so I just used a zip tie there. But then also, uh, basically all the extra wires just tuck up inside here as hollow, so it looks pretty nice and clean. If you look down here, you can see the wires, uh, but the big wads of wires all just go up into the hollow space in the middle. So overall, I think it's got a uh, pretty clean simple look uh not a whole lot to it you know hub motor ryobi 40 volt battery that i already had motor controller i already had and a little bit of 3d printing hope you like the project